So Narsan High has a very exciting event coming up. The Keystones! So since we passed all our Keystones, not only do we not have to take them, but we have senior privilege. Which means that we can come in late, leave early, and no senior finals! Woo! But since we're not actually taking any Keystones this year, we thought we'd pass it off to a member of the van who actually is... Juan! Hi! <laughs> so let's... Let's check it out, Juan! Let's check out the interview. Hi, I'm Maya here with Mrs. Wiegand, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Keystone tests. So what are keystones? Keystones are a very, very extremely important test that the state of Pennsylvania has issued to make sure that our students in Pennsylvania are competent in their knowledge of literature, biology, and algebra mm -hmm. before they graduate high school. So when are the certain exams? Well, the exams are laid out in an open window that's set by the state. For us, we have chosen Monday, May the 14th, Tuesday the 15th, the 16th, the 17th, the 21st, and the 22nd of May. So basically six concentrated days in May. Who takes the exam? Well, the students who are taking English 2, Biology, and Algebra 1, also any students who's enrolled in a Keystone remediation class, I mean, they are prepping in that class for this exam. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a pretty important uh, feat. So when students come to school, where do they go? Well, passes are being made as we speak to be put in first period blocks. The student will come to school if you're a test taker, go to that homeroom, get your pass, and they'll tell you exactly where you should go. Okay. And how does it work, like the proctors? Well, every single uh, teacher here had to take an online exam, had to take a confidentiality you know, exam to make sure that everything is professional and on the up and up. Um, uh, teachers are paired together in a room, so it's a pretty smooth process. We've been doing it for a while. We even shut down the school for three hours for those other kids so they get to sleep in for three hours and not cause noise. Mm -hmm. So we take this seriously. So every room should have two proctors that have watched videos, signed confidentiality, reviewed sheets, and they, you know, they read the script. They, they stand around the room. They make sure that everybody's okay. No cell phone, no talking, no cheating, you know, all that good stuff that goes with a uh, mandatory exam. So if you're not scheduled to take an exam, your bus will come three hours later? Yes, you will be coming into the building three hours later when we finish the exam, and then we will have a modified schedule that you will follow. So I think we've been doing this long enough that it runs pretty smooth. So definitely, if you do not take a Keystone, please stay home. Because we've had many kids show up, and then we're just like, call your parents and turn right around to go home. I don't know how a kid forgets not to come to school for three hours. I don't know. That is true. How can students prepare for the exam? Well, that's like any exam, like the SATs or the PSATs, get a good night's sleep, eat a good breakfast, you know, but the, the, the most important thing is hopefully you've been paying attention in class, you've been taking good notes, if you're in the remediation class, you're taking all of those steps seriously, knowing that you're leading up to this big test. Like any a test, just make sure you review your material, have a good breakfast, and just come in and just give it your best. And why are Keystone so important? Well, we're a public school in Pennsylvania, and you know, we're governed by the state of Pennsylvania and their rules and regulations. I've been in education long enough to have heard every type of test out there, you know, the, the Terra Novas, the PSSAs, the Keystones. I mean, they're just, they want to, Pennsylvania is a very strict state, believe it or not. The teachers have to be certified, the subs have to be certified, you have to get certain high scores in all your tests. So I'm proud to be a part of a state that has such high standards. And with those high standards, we also pass it down to our students as they enter into you know, college or the work world. We want to make sure that you're sufficient, proficient in biology, literature, and algebra. Okay. And can you repeat the dates again? Sure. Literature will be Monday, May the 14th, and Tuesday, May the 15th. Biology is Wednesday, May the 16th, and Thursday, May the 17th. Algebra is Monday, May 21st, and Tuesday, May 22nd. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes. Yeah, stay home if you don't have to take the, the exam, and enjoy your beauty sleep. All right. Good luck, test takers. I'm Maya, here with Mrs. Wiegand, and we talked about the Keystone testing.